try the grease here for fun. See what we get. Grease it up, tentacles. <laughs> Lovely. Oh no. Oh, this is where we need all the shells. We're missing some. Yep. Alright, well, I think we'll get back to that later. Quite the ingenuity in all of these trapped things. Actually, there's something sparkling on the ground there. What was that? Oh, yeah, right. The rays. Feels like there's lots of game left, folks. Lots of game left. Okay, let's go iron up the things here. Um. Okay. My long quest was successful. I found the location where the magical duel took place. The stone statue is still there, waiting for its time. I was not able to remove the spell of petrification completely, but I found a way to bring my mistress back to life for short time periods. She gave me great knowledge. The power to control animals. I feel I will free my mistress from the petrification curse forever and she will reward me. I will be the immortal king of two kingdoms. By chance I met a wandering merchant of ancient goods. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw an ancient artifact amongst his goods. The flute of the snake. Oh, snake charmer. I learned about this artifact in ancient books of the royal library. When snakes listen to the music from the flute, they obey any order by the flute player. Mm -hmm. So, okay, we need a flute. I don't know how that helps. Is this the code here? Shark, that, and a bird? Shark, snake, bird. Let's try that. Shark, snake, that, bird. Yep. Sweet. Oh no. What's all this about? I don't know. Unfold all of the parts of the bat's mechanical wings. Okay. <laughs> sure, why not? Now what? Whoa, here's a flute. Grab this. Grab the scepter. So we're missing some parts, of course. According to the picture, and only one of the flutes is missing. And I don't have anything like that. Alright, well let's back up here and see what we can find outside. I do have a red shell, a gray shell. How many shells do I have? Two shells? How many shells do I need? That's a better question. Uh, where were the shells for? Oh, I see. Okay, so here's where the manta ray goes, maybe? Maybe? What does this actually do? You know what? I'm going to leave it like that. I'm constantly fighting with that inventory. Alright, let's have a looky here. What do we have? Oh, yeah, that's right. I placed the shell here last... Or not too long ago, I should say. A shell can swap places with a neighboring one. Only if they have the same shape or color, place the shells in rows according to shape and in columns according to colors. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get cracking on this lovely puzzle. Uh, let's see here. Can we, how do we... How do we... Click it. <sighs> how do we... Oh. Uh, let's see. No. It's kind of a little bit quirky. Uh, not exactly sure. I Oh, wait a minute. I think I understand. It, it has to be the same color in order for you to switch it? That's kind of insane. Or the same shape. Wow. Okay. Diagonals that way. Oh, this is actually kind of weird. Alrighty then. 
Get you there. Get you there. No, it won't work that way. Let's see. Uh, I have to get this all the way over. And then leave that like that for now. Where is the final gray piece? Shouldn't there be four of them? Three of them? Oh, three of them. Okay. Uh, let's see. So we need to actually get this downwards. Oh my god, this is actually going to be a little bit troublesome now that I think about it. Uh, let's see. Okay. That feels pretty good. Oh, you know what? Let's do this. Oh, we can skip it. Oh, don't skip. Oh, shit. We can't change it. Uh, and then we can, let's see, switch these, switch these, switch... No, I don't think I want to switch that just yet. Oh, okay, so this has got to be... Maybe we can try to work left to right? I don't know. We'll, we'll try and figure this out. Um, crud. This is kind of a little nasty. Now, let's think about this for a second now. How do I get this here? We can do this, maybe. No. Wow, this is kind of freaky. Come on, you shame sheep. There we go, so that's one done. Beautiful. Now, let's do the cyan color. That's cyan, isn't it? Uh, let's see. Uh, come on. Oh shit, that's not the right thing. So this cyan one has to go down the middle. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Ah, that's good enough. Uh, let's see. Nope. We'll just kind of do this. Actually, I think the fact that you can go diagonal is actually quite handy. Uh, let's see now. Um... Come on, swap it up. Beautiful, now we have two done. Alright, come on, we can do this. We can totally do this. Uh, let's think about this for a second. Switch. What? How does that even... That's not even right. <laughs> okay, let's switch these out first. Oh, okay, okay, I think I understand. Like, because they're... The right color, we're all good to go. Yes! Thank the heavens! Wait. Oh shoot, I forgot one. There we go. Fantastic! Gibbs did it! Ooh, a manta ray. I shall take a manta ray. This looks like it is the reed pipe. Anything else in here? A feather. A feather, a feather. So we still have three out of five manta rays. Um, well, we have that pipe, th or the, not the pipe, th what is this thing? Not the wrench, not the scepter, the reed pipe. So let's go ahead and dump that in here. Woohoo, we have a flute. Yay for a flute. All right, so what do we have here? Three out of five, four out of five, and a flute. So what the heck am I supposed to do with a flute? Go back. Go back. Alright, now, where was the flute supposed to go? Hmm. Was it down into the uh, room here? Where is the flute, by the way? No? I can't remember what the flute is for. Let's just take a hint here. Ah, well, that's not going to help me at all, is it? Okay. Uh, maybe we went too far. Where is that man? Over here? Oh, no, feathers. Okay, so we still need one more feather. Hang on a minute. Was it down here? 
No, I don't think so. Let's go back here for a little bit. This way, maybe? Aha, here he is. Hello, snakes! Ah, oh, yeah, that's right, he's missing a boot. Okay, let's go ahead and play the flute. Oh, we're a snake charmer. How charming. I use my charm on those Your snakes. Your Majesty, thank you. I am Zack, magician healer and advisor to the court of the Phoenix Kingdom. I'm ashamed to say that I was deceived by Issa. Issa, okay. So it's Issa. That dirty villain pretended to be a loyal subject of the crown, but he was no more than an agent of that evil witch who would like to keep our two kingdoms forever at war. Rishare imprisoned her 300 years ago for casting that only true love could destroy her completely. Princess, your unquestionable devotion to Therian will save our world from this chaos. Take this scroll. Use it to enter the Phoenix Temple and call Breshare's spirit. Only he can help you save Thirion now. Awesome. Very dramatic. I shall take your scroll. Woo! The way of the Phoenix Temple passes by the guardians of the earth and air elements. The waft. The waft? The waft? The waft of a weightless wing and the stamping of small eggs will breathe life into the guardians of the elements. Okay, so we got butterflies and whatever that is. Some wind, maybe. And then some sort of millipede, maybe. The Song of the Phoenix will open the closed door. Alright, I like music. My apologies. One of these cursed snakes bit me. And its venom is already influencing me. I need an antidote before I... I... He needs an antidote, too. That's what we had in uh, a couple games ago. I think it was Grim Tales 3. We had to get an antidote for Luisa. And she was also bitten by a snake, if I'm not mistaken. What's with all these snakes? Okay. Uh, can we go here now? It's all like flashy. Oh, it's a hidden object scene. Let's go ahead and get this done. The Roman numeral five. We need the Roman numeral six. It's time for some clicky clicky. So let's go ahead and get this done. Let's draw in. Oh, come on. How's that not working? There we go. Now we got a six. Beautiful. Uh, the ballista is not loaded. We can load that right up. Beautiful. Pelican. Searchy searchy. That's what I'm going to call it. Searchy searchy. I don't know, what's better? Clicky clicky or searchy searchy? I think clicky clicky is a little bit quicker, you know? But I'll try to use searchy searchy too as well. And the one of you suggested that in the comments. Why don't you call it searchy searchy? I don't know, clicky clicky. What do you think? Ah, oh, there's a feather we need. Alright, so what do we need right now, folks? We need a bunch of W's. A wreath. A wrench. And a paddle. Oh, wow. Okay, different kind of paddle. Never mind what paddle I was thinking about. Uh, let's see. Where's the crutch right there? And we're going to go ahead and hint the last item, which is a wrench. Beautiful. We have the final feather. Awesome. Creepy. Like, what's with, like, the eight fingers? <laughs> okay, let's go back. And we'll go through here, and we'll do that feather puzzle thingamajiggy. Let's go ahead and drop them on there. Great. Turn the center element connecting the slots. Hold the mouse over the feathers to reveal which one can be moved, and then click to exchange their positions. When a feather is set in the correct position, the associated stone will be highlighted. Good grief. Are you kidding me? What does that even mean? Oh, that's what we're supposed to do? Um, not quite sure I understand. Hey, there's orange. Oh, why didn't it work? Aw. What if we go all the way around? 
Ooh, green. Oh, shoot. So wait a minute, wait a minute. I think I understand. So I have to put the orange ones up top, maybe? Okay, alright. I think I sort of get it. Can we do this? Sort of? Crud. Um, I think I want to switch that for... I don't know if it'll work, but... No. Well, let's just try this for a bit, maybe. Oh, no, actually, red, that belongs down there. Doesn't it? I think it does. Green is good there. Green is good there. Unless maybe they're supposed to be swapped. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, so we've got red, green, and now we need to figure out how to get blue. Why is that going there? Hmm. No, wait a minute. What does that do? That's moving green. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Isn't that's blue? Hmm. Blue's at the very top. Okay. Darn, this is going to be a bit harder than I hoped for. Blue. Uh. Not sure my logic here, but we'll give it a shot. Nope. That's red. What am I trying to do here? Green there. Okay, well we actually have one complete side done. <laughs> Which I don't think is actually a good plan, but uh, oh well. So what do we need to do? We need to get the blue one up high. So let's go ahead and move the blue one there. And then see if we can somehow get the blue one over there. God damn, this is actually pretty nasty. Uh, green. Okay, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. So I've got red and then I've got green. And now I need to get orange switched with blue. Wouldn't that be great if that would just happen by itself? <gasps> Shit, wrong one. Darn, darn, darn. That's no good. Okay, let's flick it around more. What about this one? Orange and red. I don't, I'm not understanding how this is working. It's weird. What about this? Why won't you work? Ugh. Green and green isn't going to help me at all. So, how the heck do I get blue up there? I keep switching with green. That's yuck. I don't understand why that won't. Ooh, that one's not bad. Now how do I switch these two? Okay, we're back for the puzzle. I had to take a few minutes to gather my thoughts. And if you hear me ruffling some papers here, that's because I actually drew out the paths here. And uh, a few of these notches or positions get multiple... I guess attempts or whatever you want to call it. So anyways, I have a plan of attack. We're going to try to move the blue feather in the top left corner. And the way we're going to do that is move it horizontally across. First of all, if we can remember how to do that. Like this. There we go. So we'll move that horizontally across. Then we're going to move it down into the third position which is in the green spot here so let's go ahead and try and do that uh, I like to think that it's not as 
bad as I originally thought, but I don't know, still kind of annoying. Uh, then we're going to slide it horizontally over to this green one. No, not there. Uh, shoot, maybe it's around this way? Is that... Yes, like that. Alright. And then finally we're going to shoot it up in the left corner there. If I can just find the right notch. And what I did learn is there's only two notches for each 180 degree turn. Which is kind of annoying. But anyways, I'm going to do this puzzle if it kills me. Actually, I won't allow it to get that far. Alright, um, so that's that. Now we have our two blues. The only thing that we have now is we have to flip these around. So that green is green. Uh, let's see here. Let's think about this for a second here. So just bear with me. What we want to do is get this green one, which is at that position, somehow to the one right below it. And there is going to be no easy way to do that. So let's look at the orange one then on the left. This one over here just needs to flip with this one, really. Well, not necessarily just flip. Uh, let's see here. Well, you know what we could do? No, not that one. Let's try this way. Okay, so that will at least get us there. And I know that if I get it right... Nope. This way, maybe. Yeah, nope. That's going to be green. Doesn't that... I thought I had a notch to that one there. So that one can only go straight across or right above. That is going to suck royally. Okay, so this one here can only go straight across or to the number one position up here, the blue spot here. That is mean. So how in the heck? I have to get it over across here. Alright, let's just try to do that. No. No. Uh, what about this one? There we go. That's really the only options. And look at that. Now I'm still down to freaking two that I have to get. All that work for what? Okay, so now, how do I flip these around? So, I can actually get this one into its green position. Let's go ahead and do that. First of all, we slide it across to number six. Once I figure out what that one is. Score it across to there. And then we can go diagonally down here. Alright, so now all we have left is the orange. And guess what, folks? These can go back and forth right across from each other. Thank you. Thank you, game. Oh my god, I can't believe I... I'm so close to getting this done. Just gotta find the right spot. And here we go. Here's the final click that I just screwed up. What am I doing? That's not right at all. There's gotta be another one. This way? Maybe it's this one. Here we go. Here's the final click. <laughs> Yay, game! Pretty feathers! Wow. So let that be a lesson to everyone that brute force maybe isn't always the best way to go about these puzzles. Gibbs, take note. I did just draw like a little small diagram and kind of numbered everything and that helped me out quite a bit. Anyways, I think what we'll do, because we all need a little break, I'm going to stop the video here and we only have uh, I think maybe two chapters left in the whole game so that's very exciting. I'm your Gibbs and thanks for watching Spirits of Mystery. Number two. Bye for now.